A Piñata in a Pine Tree, a Latino 12 Days of Christmas, by Pat Mora. On the first day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me a piñata in a pine tree. On the second day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me dos pastelitos and a piñata in a pine tree. On the third day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me Cinco guitarritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me seis trompos girando, cinco guitarritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me Siete burritos bailando, seis trompos girando, cinco guitarritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me Ocho pajaritos serenando, siete burritos bailando, seis trompos girando, cinco guitarritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me nueve campanitas sonando, ocho pajaritos serenando, siete burritos bailando, seis trompos girando, cinco guitarritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me Diez estrellitas saltando, nueve campanitas sonando, ocho pajaritos serenando, siete burritos bailando, seis trompos girando, cinco guitarritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me... Once lunitas cantando, diez estrellitas saltando, nueve campanitas sonando, ocho pajaritos serenando, siete burritos bailando, seis trompos girando, cinco guitarritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me... Doce angelitos celebrando, once lunitas cantando, diez estrellitas saltando, nueve campanitas sonando, ocho pajaritos serenando, siete burritos bailando, seis trompos girando, cinco guitarritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. Gracias. Author's Note One of the pleasures of being a Latina born in the United States is that I grew up with Mexican holiday traditions, as well as singing the Christmas carols popular in the United States. Although most people are familiar with the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, many are not aware that the twelve days begin on Christmas Day and end January 5th, twelfth night, the night before Epiphany, or the Feast of the Three Kings. This holiday is more widely celebrated in Latin America than in the United States. In a piñata in a pine tree, I've enjoyed blending both worlds. In addition to music, one of the joys of Christmas is, of course, food. In the southwestern United States, pastelitos, usually in the shape of turnovers, contain sweet fillings, apricot, apple, or cherry. In other countries, including Cuba and the Dominican Republic, the turnovers are filled with beef or chicken. Tamales are often prepared at Christmas as well. Masa, a cornmeal dough, is spread on clean corn husks and filled with cooked beef or chicken or sometimes chili peppers. The tamales are then wrapped and steamed. In Mexico, sweet tamales often contain raisins, nuts, and anise flavorings. In Central American countries, such as El Salvador and Honduras, and in Peru, tamales are wrapped in banana leaves instead of corn husks. 
luminarias, another Latino tradition, are lights, hanging lights, or paper lanterns, called farolitos in New Mexico. On Christmas Eve, especially in the southwestern United States, small brown paper bags are filled partway with sand to keep them upright, and then a small candle is placed inside. Luminarias symbolize lighting the way for the Christ child. Many of the other gifts in this book were inspired by Mexican tree ornaments made out of tin, including bells, suns, stars, moons, birds, animals, and angels. These ornaments fill museums and store windows and shelves at Christmas in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where I now live. My three children, though grown now, still look forward to hanging our own familiar tin donkey and bell ornaments. In fact, I use some of these ornaments all year round in my kitchen. I hope you enjoy singing this new version of the 12 Days of Christmas and perhaps will be inspired to create new lyrics based on your own family traditions. Illustrator's Note The illustrations for this book were made with acrylic paint in a fiesta of color, light, shadow, and detail to celebrate this most joyous of holidays. In Mexico, where I live, the 12 Days of Christmas begin December 26 and end January 6 with the arrival of Los Reyes Magos, the Three Wise Men who bring gifts for the children. In a piñata in a pine tree, the narrator's secret amiga leaves her gifts each of the 12 days. If all the gifts were added up, they would total 364, almost one for every day of the year. If they were all to appear in the illustrations, they would overflow the pages. That is why only the new gifts for each day are shown, uno on the first day, dos on the second, and so on. I try to give each of the 12 gifts a traditional, Mexican flavor, as well as a magical feel. For instance, the donkeys dancing in the air are modeled after intricate keepsakes figures hand-woven from strips of palm leaves that are popular, popular in Veracruz, Mexico. But my favorite are the little angels that on the 12th day announce the joyful arrival of the best present of all, a beautiful sister, a new amiga. The End